Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're already part of the Sprinkle Squad. I'm so happy to see you again and today we are wrapping up the Rainbow Build Rental Lot which if you've not seen any of the other builds basically I created a rental lot where you guessed it there's six houses and each of them are a different color of the rainbow so it's kind of like a color challenge wrapped into a rental lot. So this is our purple home and I'm actually really excited with this. I want to say maybe this may have been the most difficult house for me. I will say that I ended up using inspiration of kind of like a Victorian townhome, San Francisco kind of looking home. And I think it turned out really neat, but it definitely took me a while to figure out. And I just think dealing with the color purple in The Sims 4 is just difficult <laughs> because it just like there's barely any of it, you know what I mean? So it was just really difficult to, to figure out what the aesthetic was going to be and like really be able to like use it and make it look good. It took me a while. Like I think it turned out well, but yeah, like I said, I think this may have been the most difficult one I had done so far. And you can see I'm like, I, I mess around a lot with the outside of the build, really trying to make it look like really detailed and really have a lot going on. I struggled a lot with some of the trim and everything, getting it to look the way I wanted to, like in my mind. And I think we actually end up going with a super dark purple on the outside because it just, what I've got right now, like it says it's purple and I think technically it's purple, but it just doesn't scream purple. You know what I mean? Because honestly, this lot looks so cool, like from even like the map view, because you can really see all the colors. It looks really neat, at least to me anyways. But this house just didn't really give off purple. You know what I mean? so we end up swapping out for the darker purple and I think it looks a lot better here and just using a lot of the really ornate pieces like columns and trims and everything I think add like a whole lot to this space and I do end up making this a three bedroom three bathroom home so again this is one of the larger homes it is a family home and just like I feel like the other lots here or the other homes, I keep saying lots, it's one lot. I just divvied it up into separate spaces so I will say that this home I feel like I really tried some stuff, especially outdoors. I did this like tiered thing. You'll see like towards the end of the video what I'm talking about, but I really tried to do some interesting different stuff. And also, before I forget to mention it, be sure to let me know in the comments, this is your job, is to let me know which house, if you've seen all of these houses, which one was your favorite? Like which color do you think turned out the best? I'm curious to know what like, what your opinion is. Or even if it's just your favorite color, so that's the one that's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> for you that's totally fine too but I am curious to see which one you feel like kind of came out the best I'm honestly obsessed with the whole road if I remember I'll try to include at the end put some screenshots of the road itself like from afar so you can really see how it turned out so be sure to stick around for those as well because I think it turned out really neat and of course like I tried to put like the a colored car in each of the driveways because I just thought that was a really fun touch but of course there's not a, I don't think there's a purple car. If there is one, then I totally couldn't find it. So we ended up with white, which I figured, you know, there's a lot of white trim on this house. So, you know, that would work. So I was a little sad. I really wish there was, <laughs> there was purple. Of course, none of the cars in the game are real anyways. So the fact that I could even find all the other colors was, you know, really nice. And it kind of limited my options too. Each house has the, <laughs> the car it has, because basically it was the color I needed. And I ended up putting a bunch of vegetation around here. And it is also, I wanted to note, it is super windy here right now. And I feel like it maybe wants to storm. So in case you hear any wind or thunder, it's, yeah, it's outside. <laughs> like, cause I have a window right here next to my desk. So hopefully you, you won't actually hear it, but I think we have like a storm coming in and it's supposed to be really windy today. So I'm, I don't think it'll come through, but anyways, I thought I would mention it. And I kind of, I, I remember hopping all over the place, especially once we get to the inside, like the, the, okay, I'm going to keep probably saying this wrong, but the floor that you walk in on, which is technically the second floor, <laughs> it actually, that's going to be where we have our like living, dining and kitchen area, which I think turned out really nicely in the end, but I struggled. It was very difficult for me. I will say like to be totally honest and totally transparent, it was very difficult. And I say that especially because I may have ended up pausing the recording and all. So you may not see the struggle because you know, it's not always super easy. And I feel like even like when I watch speed builds like of other people, like I'm like, wow, like that was just like, how did that just come to them? Like, it's like, there's just such a natural. And I just say that because you know, stuff is cut out and it's not always that easy. <laughs> even though it may look that easy, it is not that easy, but 
I think it turned out really nicely and I originally was going for this more like cozy cottage vintagey purple thing but it just really honestly wasn't working out so I ended up going more with this like I started with this I was gonna say chimney why do I always do that it's a fireplace I always call a fireplace a chimney I don't do this in real life I only say this when I'm doing voiceovers and I don't know why but anyways that fireplace is the one from decor to the max so actually that's what started me on that track of doing maybe brighter colors the deeper colors honestly I really loved that rug I think looked so nice and just finding things like with the purple it's just it's so limited in the game like the stuff we have in purple is really pretty but it's just there's not a whole ton of it and so we also have a wide variety of like shades of it so it's just trying to tie it all together it was a little bit of a challenge but honestly like I think it was worth it I think it turned out really nicely once I figured it out once I decided what I wanted to do I think it worked out really nicely and I do end up putting in a small like office desk area behind the couch against the wall because again I try I try to do that a lot in my builds because I just feel like it's super necessary like it really helps of course if you're doing like an off the grid house like maybe it's not necessary for that house <laughs> which maybe I need to do another off the grid house I think I've maybe I've only actually ever built one on the channel and I'm 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 pretty sure it was an off the grid it was actually a cave it was actually a cave home and I did it a while back but I'm pretty sure I did off the grid and it turned out really neat but anyways maybe I need to do that again I feel like I'm thinking about bills that I need to like you know go back to and try to do that theme again so maybe I need to do that and as always let me know if you have any suggestions like for things you might want to see on the channel I would love to read through those and I do write them down I promise even if I don't get to get to them immediately I do have them written down I do have like a whole idea notebook that I keep stuff in so when I'm like I don't know what I want to build I can read through it and be like oh my gosh that would be that sounds like so cool and because I feel like sometimes I'm not in the mood to build certain things like I don't feel inspired I guess that's really a better word I don't feel inspired to do certain themes at certain times so like it's just one of those what do I feel like doing today <laughs> <laughs> when I go to build something like what am I super into like I think I mentioned in my last video I ended up I've got a island living limited pack build coming soon and I just I don't know it just I was obsessed with the idea of doing this like beach bungalow and that's what I did that day you know what I mean it's just kind of like whatever I'm in the mood for but I think all these colors came together really nicely and I'm really in love with the living room and I remember struggling a lot with I think it was the dining room because I think that's what I tried to tackle next over here in this really beautiful like bay window kind of area and I had a difficult time. I feel like originally when I started, I think it ended up looking very like like the colors are very muted and I felt like it didn't really match the living room because I really wanted it to all kind of go together at least in these general spaces if it's going to be open like this I wanted it to look like it goes together and so using all of this dark wood I think made it just really heavy in that area so I do end up swapping it out like I said I can't remember what all I actually ended up including because what what happens when I'm building if I feel like I'm struggling or I feel like I'm about to try every chair in the game for instance then I might pause my recording so you don't actually have to see that happen <laughs> and then I like start it again so I kind of do some of the editing actually while I'm building because I'm like you know after building for a while I kind of have an idea of when I'm about to spend a whole lot of time on something <laughs> and I still may not even like figure it out in the end and so I think I still end up changing the dining room I think I end up actually taking a break after trying to do this because again I was struggling so much that I was just like uh I need to come back to this and try again you know what I mean I need to regroup rethink and and come back which I find helps a lot so if you're somebody who likes building or wants to build or like sometimes it just like all of a sudden it just seems hard <laughs> like stepping away and coming back honestly helps a whole lot because like I feel like I get stuck personally I get stuck in a rut of like what it is that I think I want to do but then when I come back I'm like oh wait like this is a really cool wallpaper this is I forgot this existed and it, and it helps a lot you know what I mean and I feel like that happens a lot in general that I'm just like oh I forgot that this like thing existed in the game <laughs> like I feel like we're getting so many items these days like this just 
I forget things exist. You know what I mean? I feel like I get obsessed with a certain item or certain colors and then like I forget about others and then I come back to them I'm like, oh yeah, I loved this piece of furniture. I used to use it all the time and then I'll start using it again. Like I feel like it goes through cycles, if that makes sense. Like I'll come back to it and be like, I used to use this all the time. Like why haven't I used it lately? And I feel like I get caught up sometimes in using some of the newer stuff because I mean, it just, a lot of times the newer stuff looks a little bit better in terms of just the quality of items because this game has just been out for a while, but I end up, I think I actually do end up keeping those. I think those are the Journey to Batu lamps, which I don't, I don't really use a lot of that pack. I know that a lot of people don't have it, but I will say though, the lamps in that pack are actually really cool. Like, I feel like that's what, I, if I use something from the pack, a lot of times it's going to be one of the lamps because I just think they look really neat and they're pretty unique and they come in like really nice like metallic colors so it's again I know a lot of people just don't have it so if you do download it and you don't have Journey to Batu, obviously the only thing you're going to be missing is going to be <laughs> probably those lamps above the island so you can of course just replace those and I can't even remember if I mentioned that this is already on the gallery I think I did and because I will say I am <laughs> I'm recording a bunch of voiceovers in one day so I'm starting to forget what I have and haven't mentioned in my speed build so in case I haven't mentioned it it is up on the Sims 4 gallery already my ids in the description down below i feel like i did say that and i will say too that i have like two of the speed builds or two of the voiceovers i've done this afternoon like i think i started over so i've really <laughs> i've done a lot of speed builds like a lot of voiceovers today so apologies if some of it just sounds a little funny it's because i forgot what i've said usually i don't do that but i've just had a bunch pile up recently because of my move so i'm trying to go ahead and get those ready to go so i can get those out on the channel so hopefully i'll be back to a regular upload schedule really soon that's my goal because I really do enjoy doing this I just like I've gotten caught up in like taking care of you know real life stuff lately so anyways and I've honestly been spending a lot of time with my family since we did move closer to them like I've been spending a lot of time with them with dinner and like going out and stuff and that's been really nice as well and I feel like really good for me so we've just been kind of enjoying that and settling in and, and getting things like just together you know what I mean and like it's just man I, I don't I will probably end up moving again in my life but I don't want to <laughs> I don't know why it's always just so stressful it's always such a struggle at least for me anyways like I always dread it I don't know if it's just because I've collected so many things and I just am so over moving it or I've just moved so many times that I'm like I don't want to pack anymore <laughs> I never want to pack my stuff again but anyways I what I ended up doing actually is the top floor is the kids floor so we have two bedrooms up here i figured we had a teen and a kid and they also share a bathroom up here and i also include like a little like lounge area for them at the top there kind of near that balcony door which i thought was super cute and i went through a lot of different door options because we do have some cute like kid doors but what i will say i think i do end up swapping them out because I really wasn't sure how I was going to decorate those rooms to begin with. So then they just didn't match when I actually decided what I wanted to do, <laughs> if that makes sense. And honestly, I'm obsessed with the way this bathroom came out. I know that sounds really weird, but I think like the clutter, I feel like kids bathrooms are fun because you can really put like a bunch of clutter and stuff in there and like feel like using different like the towels I use for instance I never used the void critter towels you know what I mean so being able to use those was a lot of fun and then just putting organization lots of clutter I feel like you know having two kids there just be a bunch of stuff in here you know what I mean just different like whatever hair accessories or whatever if one of them's into makeup or jewelry or I mean whatever and I feel like kids just accumulate things to begin with so and I actually use those really cool like organizers there which I feel like I never use which I was so excited when I found because I felt like it looked so cute in here and then having the little like paw and heart rug because I did include a little pet bed underneath this stair so you can't have one in this house and of course if you download this and one of the rental rules you use is that like they can't have pets or something then you know you can get rid of that if you would like to of course and it like I'm really excited about this build to be honest and I think it was fun and challenging to be able to do different colors and really kind of challenge myself to do that because I don't you know I might use a particular color but I don't limit myself really to that color if that makes sense like I might have like that's going to be the main color I use but 
I, you know, anyways. So in the kids' bedroom here, I did use this like crazy looking floor because I just, I was like, you know what, let's do it. Like I never use it. We should definitely do it. It's purple. Again, we didn't have as many options with purple. So <laughs> we end up using that. I do end up doing like a funky platform kind of thing over here in the kids' bedroom because I just thought that would be really cool and like a fun accent in there. And I end up putting, I think, a desk in a little seating area and their dresser over there. It's just, again, just something really fun to do there. I was trying to put up like curtains or something, but it was, and I wanted to put like a, a beam across and it was just being so difficult. So I ended up not doing that. I couldn't figure out exactly what it was upset about, so I ended up not, but I think it still looks good anyways. And I think I do end up swapping out. Originally, I was gonna do that like solar system bed, but I think I do change it out, which means I do also change, I think, the wallpaper. And oh yeah, I think I end up using the bed there from, I don't know if that's from, <laughs> cats and dogs or if it's from the um my first pet stuff I cannot remember which items come with which because they probably should have all come together but <laughs> besides that I did use that and I don't think I've ever really used it but I thought it looked really cute here with the purple and of course the curtains with the platforms it was a whole thing making sure everything kind of fit because platforms also kind of do do funky stuff kind of like the round walls I feel like sometimes I struggle with them just a little bit although they are I feel like super useful when you're trying to do interesting things you can really change the way your build looks just by using platforms and I tried to use some stuff in here for some kids skill building so I I know that like so the blue house next door didn't really have a yard because I made it like a bigger home there is like an extra bedroom in there too but since I did like three floors for this one there was like some extra outdoor space and I'm trying to remember exactly what all I think I put a grill out there and some yoga mats and all so I tried to really put some skill building stuff in here and again, I did assign each of the homes to be their separate rental, but I wanted to mention again, in case you didn't see my other videos where I mentioned it, the like yards are not gonna, I don't think, be separated. So unless you really want to fence off the whole yard, I just didn't because of the driveway and like assigning them to each of the particular rentals, then your Sims are going to see that as a shared space and kind of use each other's yards, which I don't know if is a huge deal, to be honest, especially like if it's just something like, you're renting you know what I mean like if that's you're just playing as like the landlord but anyways and just adding in a bunch of clutter here and it just turned out so cute honestly like I just really went in on this purple theme with the kids room I feel like kids rooms are always so fun and I can't I think I think for the teens room I end up going with like a lighter purple and I think I end up using a high school years bed in their room I think the one with like the feathers and all and I can't remember so this has all been play tested as well and I want to say though I noticed maybe when I uploaded it or oh I had somebody tour this lot on stream on someone's stream and I think it had deleted or did something weird with that flower rug in the kids room. So apologies if it looks funny. I think it may have done something when it got put up on the gallery and then downloaded again, which I feel like is always a risk when you download stuff off the gallery. It just does weird things. It just does whatever it wants to. But I did end up using wallpaper to help kind of separate the space here to really define where like the bed area is because this was a rather large room and also I apologize for any like weird camera stuff that's happening here because it is on the third floor once you hit the third floor the camera starts doing weird things <laughs> if you've ever built something in the sims that that's tall you've probably noticed the camera just kind of does whatever it wants to which is a bit frustrating also since the build is kind of skinny like it the camera likes to like drop so I have to be really particular <laughs> when I was doing this so apologies if this part of the video looks a little weird like it, it's just because of the camera and it wasn't intentional that I keep like having the camera like go up and down and everything and then creating this like really cute custom space for like their dresser and their like own homework space which I figured maybe the team wants their own space and I was able to use this beautiful yellow curtain which again I love using this because I think I mentioned it in the yellow build I may have actually used that curtain in the yellow build but I don't use it a lot because of the weird shadow it has so I was happy that I was able to incorporate that here and of course using those beautiful pillows like I feel like we need more like loose decorative pillows like please sims if you can hear me please, please give us some more of those. I would love some more of those because I think it's an easy way to alter 
the look of something or a couch, especially since we have so many couches and chairs that don't have any kind of blankets or pillows on them. The more recent ones do, but the older ones don't. I feel like it's a really fun way to change stuff up or add a little bit extra something to like a bed. And also if you like, I don't know, do I want the pillows to actually slot to the couch? I don't know. Like, part of me I, I wish it would maybe slot to the height of the couch if that makes sense like I don't want to be restricted to where I can put it on the couch but like it would help if the, the pillows just immediately went to like the right height <laughs> I don't know I'm asking for a lot I, I know that I am but like I feel like that would be super cool and I, I'm very aware that like CC like build CC is insane and has a lot of that stuff which is like gorgeous I just tried to not use build cc first of all since i do put like stuff up in the gallery and i want more people to be able to download it but also because honestly if i started using build cc like i feel like my computer just might blow up because i would have so much of it it would be it would be out of control i know that once i start using it it would just be insane like i started using cast cc recently well, I say recently, like over the last year or so and like, oh my gosh, like it's just so easy to have a bunch of it in your game. And since I don't really post Sims and stuff, I do use CC on my Sims, but it's just like, man, it is so easy to get a ton of it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. It's so, so easy. And here in this area, I just kind of like, again, made this a cute little kids area. Like I say kids, but I mean, there's a teen, but for the kids over here. And I think I end up putting like a little TV and a little place for them to sit so they can like, I think I put in like a video game console over here as well so that they can kind of maybe hang out and do stuff up here. Or maybe if, you know, they have their friends over or something like that. And there's not a lot of room for a like couch or anything, but I mean, they don't, really have to have one you know what I mean so I think I end up putting maybe a chair in here or something I'm trying to remember like I, like I said uh, it's been a minute since I've made these so I'm honestly trying to remember what I did because I also went back and forth about stuff as well and I don't think you need a ton of space for your sims to hang out there you know they'll just kind of stand around and I will say too so this bottom floor is kind of for the parents and you can see I kind of did this weird walling off thing because I really wanted that decorative trim on the bottom like piece on the outside it ended up inside and trying to stick through the wall so I kind of had to had to wall it off so you couldn't really see it so that's part of why I did that because I just really really wanted that trim on the house I really wanted something there because I felt like it really needed it but it like bugged me so so much and I can't remember if I swapped it out for a slightly smaller trim or not or if you're going to have that little piece sticking into the bathroom I honestly can't remember I know I struggled a lot back and forth about what I wanted to do like whether that's something that was important enough to me to, to leave in the build even though it looks a little bit funny but I think feel like I ended up leaving it so apologies for that but it's just honestly it looks so good on the outside that I wanted to leave it but of course you know as always if you want to delete that if it does bug you feel free to do so because I know that like you know building and looking at it's really pretty but you know in order to play in it you might have to change it in order to fit like your gameplay and everything so feel free to do that and I honestly am kind of like surprised at how much I was able to fit in this bathroom here. I went with more muted colors here for the parents bedroom. I don't know why I just felt like it might be nice there. So I feel like this house really does have a mix of aesthetics in it. Again, partially because there's just not a whole lot of purple in the game. So I had to <laughs> make do with what I had, but I think it turned out really well. And then I ended up using, you can kind of see already in the bedroom, that wall of cabinetry. That's actually like kitchen cabinetry. It's like the tall piece from the upper, the upper cabinets. And I put that there kind of like a built-in, which I thought was a whole lot of fun. Like that's where, you know, they keep all of their clothes and everything. And again, I just wanted this to be like a cozy little oasis for the parent or parents to come and hang out and I end up actually right outside their double doors I actually end up putting a small like actually it's not a small office it's actually a pretty big office for them because I figured maybe like I don't know one of them may work from home or maybe like I don't know they're in the business career and they just like have a giant like study but I figured that would be kind of nice to have downstairs and I also end up putting in I think I actually put in a half bath down here as well Again, I figured having this many Sims, it probably would be really nice to have more toilets. Like, I'm just being honest. Like, it's really nice to have. 
<laughs> I feel like you're playing and then all of a sudden all of your sims have to go to the bathroom at the same time. I feel like that always happens and then you have an accident and then they have to take a shower and then they're embarrassed and then it's, it's just a whole thing, you know? So like, let's just avoid it all together and like <laughs> just include another bathroom. But I do end up putting a bunch of clutter here on top of the cabinets because I just thought it really added to the personality of this room and just added some warmth and everything and I think it looks really nice in here and I think it definitely was worth keeping the trim again feel free to change it if you would like to and then I end up actually putting in I think I put a bunch of bookcases in the office outside of their bedroom I'm pretty sure and then I even include I think a small seating area honestly like I said it's been a minute so I'm trying to remember and I think I really liked the way this office space ended up turning out and you can see I decided here I'm just like walling off and putting in a half bath here and I figured too like they might be the kind of family that has like a barbecue outside and like the sims can just like run inside real quick and be able to use the restroom without having to like go all the way upstairs you know what I mean if they have a bunch of people over so I felt like it was pretty functional to do that as well and then just again putting in a little bit of clutter and bringing in some of that wallpaper from upstairs that like pop of color I think was really nice down here and kind of a nice contrast to the more muted colors in the parents bedroom here and then putting in a bunch of these I ended up using the oh my gosh realm of magic that's, that's the name I don't know why I've been struggling lately with the names of packs but I think it's just because I haven't done voiceovers lately so it's just not in the front of my brain to have that information there but I ended up using the realm of magic there because I just love that color of the bookcase I think it just added a lot and it was a nice contrast here to the desk I put in and I'm trying to remember if I keep this desk or I swap it out because I think I remember thinking about the fact that when you put the computer on it it kind of hangs off a little bit which again I don't know why it does that I really wish they would fix that <laughs> honestly that would be really great if they would change that but you know it's fine. We're just going to ignore it because we just know that's the way The Sims is. And then putting in a chair over here. And I can't remember if I also include any kind of skill building in here. To be honest, I may include an easel. I just, I think I, oh, I'm trying to remember. I may have actually ended up putting in the like, what is like the botanical kind of wall like thing from Eco Lifestyle? Yeah, I ended up putting those over there because I just thought that looked so nice. And like, I love adding texture. I've been really obsessed with mixing textures in interiors because I've also been thinking about that a lot for my own home actually you know when I'm picking out new bedding or something like having different textures of pillows and blankets and stuff I just I don't know I've been really into it lately so I think I've been trying to incorporate that a little bit more into my builds as well and then out here I end up doing a really lush garden again I'm really glad it's the sims and they don't have to take care of that because it would be so difficult to take care of all of this like my first house I had we tried to put like flowers and everything and I'm just not a gardener. I'm really not. It was really, really hard to take care of everything and, you know, keep everything alive and pretty. And so, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I just know that's not me. You know what I mean? But in The Sims, we don't have to worry about it. And that can be me in The Sims. And so I end up doing this like platform thing here <laughs> on the corner, which I think actually looks really cool too from the front since this is like one of the front lots in here so I end up putting I think a bench up here just like a really cool place for you sims to go hang out and I think I include some yoga mats and a chess table out here as well as well as a seating area like so they can grill and all that kind of good stuff and I don't know maybe maybe this is where all the kids in the neighborhood hang out you know what I mean and it's kind of funny so you know we just moved and my neighbors I feel like are kind of that house on the street I feel like all the kids in the neighborhood end up like in their backyard on their trampoline it's so funny and adorable like we see the kids like running across like the street going to their house and like we can hear them like giggling it's like so so cute honestly like it makes me feel like I'm in like a sitcom or something not a sitcom but like you know well, I guess it's a sitcom. Like, everybody goes to the same house, and they're so cute, and it's just, anyways. So, so maybe that's this house. Maybe, maybe everybody comes to this house, all the kids to hang out and everything like that. But I included some fountains in here as well, and I'm also, fingers crossed, like, I'm hoping the terrain paint actually comes off the gallery, and you can, you know, 
use that otherwise of course you can add train paint back if you feel like it and just adding again more and more plants because why not i could not help myself honestly i feel like maybe that's a challenge for me i need to build a house with limited landscaping maybe that's what i need to do you know what i mean maybe that's my next big challenge for a build because <laughs> i really like doing it so much i feel like it's so peaceful and like calming to me i don't know like let me know if that's something you enjoy doing in the sims um again i don't like taking care of it in real life but in the sims it just looks really pretty and I like placing all of this stuff there and I try to make an interesting shape here with like this tile and you know for this dining area and I kind of I had to really think about how I wanted to set this up and the, the flow of the yard and everything and I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and as a reminder I'm going to try to add in the shots of the actual like Rainbow Road Street at the end of the video so be sure to stick around and also remember to tell me which one is your favorite because I'm curious to know like if like I don't know if there's a consensus you know what I mean because honestly like obviously I built them so I like all of them <laughs> I like all of them a lot. I will say that, I mean, the blue one may be my favorite. I don't know. But again, that's if you've actually seen all of them. And I tried to include like kids stuff in front of all of the houses that have like rooms for kids. Also to make it obvious which houses are the ones that have kids probably. And then just including, again, some more skill building stuff out here. And I think I just put in a bunch of like vegetation, I think, kind of all around. And I think I might go in with some of that gravel and try to layer in some of the terrain paint. I feel like the terrain paint makes such a difference, like putting that under everything and combining different terrain paints. Like it just gives such a depth to like a yard so if you know you're someone who is I'm not saying I'm like really good at landscaping but that is something that I really feel like has elevated my landscaping is just really including some terrain paint I should honestly try to do some more just terrain manipulation in the game as well because I feel like that would be you know a whole lot of fun to include there and then here just finishing up the street I put in just some corresponding flowers for each yard and then I end up putting a couple of cars on the street to make it just a little more lived in and I think it just kind of honestly came together so nicely and like I really just tried to lean into that rainbow so each house has their own colored flowers out front but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe I would really appreciate it and I hope you have a really sweet day bye everybody sun is coming up are you ready to go we can take a ride we can take it slow yo well it's my love let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go I'll take you to a place We can see it all Step off the edge I can break your fall Your will is my law I'ma let you be the boss Cause I'll go where you go When you fall down I'll get you back up again The things you try Kings of the world